Hello beautiful family, here I am in Leeds. Behind me you can see I've got my little stool with my, with my tracks on and Bible saying please take one but I'm pointing the speaker this way. Um, I'm in Leeds city centre. I hope you're all right, all of you. Jesus Christ is coming. It looks, it looks like we're, we're on the verge of World War Three. So uh, I hope you have believed the gospel, all of you. Because Jesus Christ is coming. Here we go. God, God bless you. God bless you. Jesus loves you. I've come here to tell you that the Lord God loves you. I've come here to tell you that Jesus loves you and he's coming very soon. Any moment now, we are in the season for the return of the Lord Jesus for his people. So if you're not saved, I urge you to get saved now. Don't hesitate any longer, please, because Jesus Christ is coming. He's coming for all those that have trusted and believed in what he did for us on the cross. Because we all, like sheep, have gone astray. And Jesus died on the cross for all our sins. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the blessed gospel. And if you shall confess Jesus as Lord, if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's the only requirement needed for your salvation. One thing, one thing is believe. The moment you believe the gospel that Jesus died for you on that cross, he paid the debt in full for your lifetime of sin on that cross. When you believe that he died for you and he was buried in a tomb and rose again from the dead, you will be saved. But Jesus said, except you repent, which means change your mind and believe, then you will perish. And God wants none to perish. That's what it says in his holy word. It says in his holy word that God wants none to perish. And God wants all to be saved. And the Bible says that all can be saved. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he has promised that he will not turn anyone away who comes to him in truth. For all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which yeah. God wants to give everyone, is eternal Shame. life through Jesus Christ our oh, Lord. God bless you. I don't take any well, I'm a sweet preacher. Well, give a fuck. You're talking bullets. Okay, whatever you say. You, you, you God, 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 may the Lord bless you, I pray. This day, blessing you with his love in the name of Jesus. Because God is love and God wants none to perish. He wants all to be saved. That's what it says in the Bible. I don't know what your church is telling you, but they should be telling you to watch. We're looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13 in the Bible. Who shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain, all believers which are alive and remain, little children, babies, will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture, and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus. And we're told to comfort one another with these words. This is our redemption day. God bless you, ma'am. Yes, you're fine, thank you. No, I've been, I've not, I've always been doing this. I come, I come to Leeds all the time. But I'm speaking on the mic because it's all recorded. I am allowed to have the amplifier, yes. When did the law come out to ban, banning amplification? If you ban the amplification, I'll just talk instead to people. 
Would you prefer that? That's what you need to do, so. I'm not aware of this law, it's not, I've never, never been told it by anyone. Um, so, Jesus loves you, I've come here to tell you that time is short. Jesus is coming. Please, if you haven't believed the gospel, lay hold of your salvation because your eternity depends on it. Your eternity, eternity depends on whether or not your eternal destination depends on whether or not you're going to accept the Lord Jesus Christ or not. There is a heaven, there is a hell, and God wants all to be saved. We are in the season for the rapture to take place. Jesus is coming for all those who have put their trust in him. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God blesses you all today and reveals himself to you and touches you with his love. And these two ladies here, which have told me that they're not allowed amplification, but no, that's not the law. We are allowed the Geneva Bible. The Gen Geneva Convention. Keep the volume down. No, yes. do not use amplification while... What, what, since when? Since when? I'm going to give you that, I'm going to read a bit. Okay? And I thought I might have to do it nice for you. When did this come out? That's all I would like to know. I've not been made aware of it at all. And I preach all the time. I preached yesterday. Nobody told me the police went past me. They never told me to turn it down. I'll turn it down. Right, okay then. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, all right, okay. Well, even though I'm bringing the gospel of salvation. If it says on this that I'm not allowed amplification, where does this come from? Police City Council? Yes. When have they made this? It must be, it must be new because I come here all the time. But can you tell me when this came into force? Because I was not made aware. It can't be because I've been here. I've been here the last few other weeks. Why are you looking to let them actually rise to come off the amplifier? You need to speak to the people, but you need to come off the amplifier. Yeah, okay, then if, you, if you're telling me to do that, then um, that's the law. That's the law, then so be it. I will talk to the people instead. It's just better for me that they hear what I'm saying to them because I'm, I'm going to hurt my voice now. Sorry about um, that, but... Because I've not come here to leave from Scarborough for nothing. I've come here to preach to people the good news of the gospel of salvation. Can you come off the amplifier for me? Okay, thank you. Appreciate it very much. Right, okay then. I'm coming off the amplifier and I'm going to shout to the people uh, what, what is coming upon this world very soon. You tell me to turn it down. Okay. I'm only just doing my job, sir, okay? God bless you. God bless you too. God bless you, Leeds. I am here to tell you that God loves you. I have come here to tell you that time is running out and the Lord Jesus Christ is running out. No, you know them tunnels. No fashion making for I'm going to upload this one guys, you've seen I've just come to Leeds and straight away, even though I'm not doing any harm, I'm told I'm not allowed amplification, I've got the thing in here, this must be this new law that's passed, but as far as I'm aware, what, um, I'm allowed to use uh, amplification, oh, of course, yes, yes, please take one. God bless you. Right, I'll turn this off guys and upload you. Alright. God bless you guys. I love you.